There is a new blockchain that is getting a lot of traction. In less than two months, a lot of projects will launch on this blockchain, especially in DeFi. This offers new yield farming and staking opportunities for investors and a new playground for blockchain developers who want to launch their project. This blockchain has low transaction fees, fast transaction time, it's based on the technology of Ethereum and it's backed by one of the most successful crypto exchanges. I'm talking of the Binance Smart Chain. So no matter if you are an investor or a developer, you have to know about this blockchain now when it's not crowded yet and you can still have this amazing untapped potential. So in this video, I'm going to introduce the Binance Smart Chain. I'm going to explain how it works and how to deploy a smart contract on it. Like I said, it's based on the technology of Ethereum, so you will be able to reuse a lot of the technologies you already know as a blockchain developer, like Solidity, Truffle, Remix, etc. There are still some small differences with Ethereum, and I will explain these in this video. And at the end of the video, I will tell you whether Binance Smart Chain will replace Ethereum as the main blockchain for DeFi and decentralized application. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel in the blocks, I teach DeFi and blockchain development. And before we continue, quick mention to my free training down below if you want to learn how you can become a professional blockchain developer and make $100,000 a year. Check out my free training down below. So Binance Chain and Binance Smart Chain are two different blockchains and it's a bit confusing. So I'm going to explain the difference. So let's start from the beginning. Binance is one of the most popular centralized exchange for crypto. In less than two years after its creation, Binance already made $1 billion of profit. That's huge. Even the biggest tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, etc. didn't grow so fast. The reason for the success of Binance is that they only trade crypto against crypto, they don't deal with fiat money at all, and this allows them to totally skip the KYC procedure, which is a huge pain in other centralized exchanges like Coinbase. So even though Binance is doing well, they know that they face more and more competition from DeFi. So to compete with DeFi and decentralized exchanges, in 2019, they launched their own blockchain called the Binance Chain. So with Binance Chain and its integrated decentralized exchange called Binance DEX, you can combine the advantage of blockchain like decentralization with the advantages of centralized exchanges like Speed. It uses a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism where miners, which are called validators, earn fees based on the blocks they add to the blockchain. So currently, Binance choose all the validators, but in the future, it's supposed to become truly decentralized and decided by the community. Binance Chain was a good beginning, but it was a little bit limited because it doesn't allow to have a smart contract like in Ethereum. So that's why in August this year, Binance launched another blockchain called Binance Smart Chain. Binance Smart Chain is interoperable with the Binance Chain, meaning that you can transfer assets between both which allow you to combine the very high scalability of Binance Chain with the advanced capability of Binance Smart Chain. Binance hope this will allow to develop a full ecosystem of decentralized application that can potentially compete with what we have on Ethereum. For developers and investors, the most interesting is Binance Smart Chain, and I'm going to explain this in the next section. Binance Smart Chain is a fork of Geth, the Go implementation of Ethereum. It shares most of the same feature, but with a few differences. Compared to Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain has short-term block time, around 5 seconds, and lower transaction fees. For example, for a simple money transfer, it costs only 1 cent of a dollar. So like for Ethereum, you have to pay transaction fees, but the currency used for these fees is the BNB token and not Ether. So BNB is a token that lives on the Binance chain, the other blockchain of Binance. BNB is a token that follows the BAP20 standard, a token standard that extends the ERC20 token standard of Ethereum. The Binance Smart Chain uses the Ethereum virtual machine for its smart contract. So it means you can reuse all the tools you already know for Ethereum, like Solidity, Truffle, Remix, Web3, and MetaMask. The consensus algorithm of Binance Smart Chain is different from Ethereum. It's called a proof-of-stake authority consensus. 
there are 21 validators that add new blocks to the blockchain. So they are the equivalents of miners on Ethereum. These validators are paid transaction fees in BNB token based on the blocks they mine. To be a validator, you need to stake some BNB token. If you try to manipulate the blockchain, your BNB stake will be slashed, which means you will lose your money. So this is to give a validator an incentive to stay honest. The validator that has the most stake is chosen to validate the next block. These 21 validators are already pre-selected by Binance and in any case it can be a bit technical to run a validator node so it's not really accessible to the average end user. However, it's possible for any investors to participate in the validation mechanism by delegating your BNB tokens to a validator. So in this case, the same rule as the validator applies to your BNB token. If the validator is selected for the next block and produces a valid block, you will earn some reward proportionally to the stake you sent. If the validator produces a wrong block, you will lose your stake. And if the validator is not selected for the next block, nothing happens. Unfortunately, there is no UI to stake your BNB coins at the moment, so you have to use the command line tool of Binance Chain called BNB CLI. You will find the instruction in the documentation of Binance in order to use this tool. So just to be clear, although it's called the Binance Chain client, you can use it both for the Binance Chain and the Binance Smart Chain. So that's it for how the Binance Chain work. Next, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a smart contract on the Binance Smart Chain. Because Binance Smart Chain is based on Ethereum, you can reuse all the tools you already use for Ethereum, like Solidity, Truffle, etc. So I'm not going to explain the basic tech of Ethereum here, but I'm going to focus on what is specific to Binance Smart Chain, especially tools like Fawcett, Blockchain Explorer, etc. If you want to learn the basics of Ethereum programming, I have a few videos you can follow on my channel, and I put these links in the description. So I have already created a smart contract project and we are going to deploy it. So this is a truffle project, a framework for a smart contract. My smart contract is very simple. You can save and modify an integer. This is nothing super exciting here, but I just want to show you the deployment part. I also have a migration file to explain truffle how to deploy my smart contract. What's interesting is inside the Truffle config file. So first I have installed HD Wallet Provider, which allow you to configure how to connect to the blockchain. So with this, you are going to build a provider object where you pass your private keys and your URL to your blockchain node. So I'm going to explain all of this. So first you need to generate an Ethereum address. So I like to use this website, vanityeth.tk is called done and you can generate an address like this. And here you click to reveal the private key. So after I'm going to put this private key in this array here, and for this URL here, so that's the URL to a testnet of the Binance Smart Chain. So the Binance Smart Chain, like for Ethereum, you have the mainnet and you also have testnet where you can try out your application. So in order to deploy on the testnet or mainnet of Binance Smart Chain, there is no equivalent to infra, but instead you can grab directly some URL to some node on this blockchain. So in the documentation, you will see a page on a JSON RPC endpoint. And so we're not going to deploy to mainnet, but the procedure is exactly the same. So you go to testnet for BSC, so Binance Smart Chain, and you have several URL here. So we're going to take the first one. And so, yeah, so I've already copied this here for the URL key. And after, once you have this, you need to create a new entry for network. So I call this Binance Testnet. So I pass the provider, the network ID is 97. So this is another one for uh, mainnet. And here I put the gas limit. So I just put uh, 1 million, that should be enough. And so after I'm going back to my address generator, I'm going to copy the address. And the next, I'm going to the faucet for the Binance Smart Chain. So this is exactly like for faucet for the public testnet of Ethereum. You input your address and it's going to give you some, some token for free. 
So on Binance Smart Chain, we don't use Ether, but we use the BNB token in order to pay for transaction. So here is what we're going to get. So we choose uh, one BNB. So you wait a bit. And after it tells you that this is funded. So after you can check that you have received the fake BNB token by going to the blockchain explorer of the Binance Smart Chain and you put your address. And boom, we can see our transaction here and we can see our balance of one BNB token. So after I'm going to my terminal and at the root of my project, I'm going to run truffle migrate reset and for the network, I call this Binance testnet. All right. Okay, so I have a typo, so I'm going to fix this in truffle config. Okay, I forgot a comma here. Uh, it's no big deal. Uh, let's run our command again. So it's going to take some time because it has to interact with the node of the of Binance Smart Chain uh, test net. So it's uh, slightly slower than when you just deploy this on a local development blockchain like Ganache. And our deployment is finished and successful. So here we can see the address of our smart contract. So I'm going to copy this. So back to our testnet explorer. So first I'm going to reload this page for the sending address. So we can see that we have some new transactions. These are the different transactions for the contract deployment. So behind the hood, Truffle uses another smart contract for deployment, which is called migration.source. That's why here you see several transaction. And here we can search for the address of our smart contract. And here we can see that uh, this is a, a contract. So this is the compiled bytecode. So obviously <laughs> this is not very readable, but they have a decompiler. So if you use a decompiler, actually, you can see the original source code of the smart contract. But the point is that our smart contract is deployed on the testnet of the Binance Smart Chain. And so for deploying to the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, this is exactly the same, except that you change the URL. And for that, you can go back to this page I showed you before, JSON RPC endpoint in the documentation of Binance Smart Chain. So I explained what is the Binance Smart Chain and how to deploy a smart contract on it. The next step will be to deploy a front-end as well. So this is no different than creating a front-end for Ethereum. So you have to use JavaScript, Web3 and MetaMask. For the integration with MetaMask, this is exactly the same as for Ethereum. However, your users will have to manually configure their MetaMask with a new network that points to a node of Binance Smart Chain. Binance also has a wallet distributed as a Chrome extension. It already has configured the network of a Binance Smart Chain, so for users, it's kind of easier. But for developers, the integration is a bit different from MetaMask, so, so you will have to check out that documentation. But the problem is that not many users have installed this Binance wallet, so I'm not sure that it's actually worth the hassle to integrate it. So the big question is, will Binance Smart Chain replace Ethereum? So in the short term, we are going to see a lot of DeFi forks launching on Binance Smart Chain. This will give a lot of yield farming opportunities for investors and for developers. It's also a big opportunity to launch your project. As long as we don't have a solution for lower transaction fees on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain has a chance to take some market share from Ethereum. But when we'll finally have a lower transaction fee on Ethereum, probably starting with some layer 2 solution, I expect that there will be a big comeback to Ethereum. So my recommendation is this. Currently, make sure to monitor the situation on Binance Smart Chain, but at the same time, don't be too worried about Ethereum. Because long term, Ethereum will stay the main blockchain, I have no doubt about this. So as you can see, to build a decentralized application on the Binance Smart Chain, you need to know how to develop decentralized applications on Ethereum. So I have many videos on this, like this playlist where we learn Solidity, or this other video where we built five decentralized applications on Ethereum with smart contract, test, and front-end. I'll see you there.